Hi, it's Jeff. And Denise from MouseSteps.com. And this is episode number 480. 480. Of Mouse Steps Weekly. Sponsored by MEI Travel and Mouse Fan Travel. Owner Becky is currently in Wyoming on an Adventures by Disney trip. That's something we don't really talk about here. I have never been on an Adventures I by know. Disney. It looks amazing. It does. Where she is looks incredible. So uh, check out MEI and Mouse Fan Travel, not just for Walt Disney World, Disneyland, Disneyland Paris, Universal. Universal. But cruises. and Disney Cruise Line and other cruises, but also for Adventures by Disney, which I've heard nothing but good things about. All your travel needs. Yes. <laughs> so here we are. We are at the Magic Kingdom. This was uh, last week. You could see there was uh, quite the crowd to greet us, but this is uh, very early in the morning. And we went to the annual pass holder line and were able to get in a lot faster. That's right. I'm I'm liking that they have a annual pass holder line here at Walt Disney World. Unlike unlike, unlike some places. Disneyland Paris. Paris has taken theirs away. So How awesome the the omnibus. Too bad we didn't get a chance to ride, but it was so nice. I think it was probably done for the day. You know, it finishes so early because it gets crowded very early at the Magic Kingdom. That's a, but you wouldn't think that it would be finished by then cuz we arrived at about you can see about nine o'clock. I mean, the park was just opening. So yeah, it was about nine fifteen. I can tell we, from that uh, watch. Up we there. left Main Street very, uh, very quickly. Though we found uh, Jasmine and Aladdin just. They were looking wandering. for Abu. Actually, that's what they said they were doing. They were looking, you know, down there. They're trying to find Abu. We're seeing a little more of wandering, roaming characters now than we used to, and I, I like it better than. Just, you know, when they're standing in one place. Yeah, we were told um, up until 10 o'clock they roam. So pro that's okay. the first hour of the day that you have them roaming. And then they'll have their scheduled meet mm -hmm. and greets after. Same with uh, Peter Pan, who is also out. I think we'll see him uh, shortly. I thought that was, this was fun, though, to see Aladdin and Jasmine kind of looking at their uh, flying carpets there, yes. pondering, going for a little ride, seeing if it's uh, they're tall enough. <laughs> <laughs> It was, you know, this was a, a really fun morning. It's been super hot here, uh, but it's nice to get into the parks. We're doing a little bit less right now, uh, but uh, the Magic Kingdom was, was really fun and not busy on this morning. No, not at all. And I had mentioned uh, there's Peter Pan. He is uh, interacting with uh, some guests. He was also a lot of fun. The characters, I, I really, as you said, I love it when they roam. Mm -hmm. You know, they, it's just you get more spontaneity that way. Yeah, I mean, he was like playing a game there and look at And now we're heading to Pirates of the Caribbean. We were able to ride Pirates, Pirates of the Caribbean, Big Thunder Mountain, and It's a Small World with almost no wait for any of them. Yeah, in the that morning. was amazing. On a Saturday. Mm -hmm. This was a Saturday. So we're looking at some uh, some clips from Pirates of the Caribbean. I have not, we had not ridden in uh, some time, so it was very nice to, to get the chance to ride again. And all this was shot with the iPhone. The, it's amazing what the iPhone can do now. You're using it way more than you used to it. Also because you can edit on the iPhone. Right, right. But there are certain things where I still need the uh, trusty video camera. Shows and parades sometimes. And late, yeah, and, and later on, is exactly. Shows, parades, things like that, and some attractions. But uh, it does a great job of uh, with low light here. So very nice uh, showing mm -hmm. off the iPhone. I, I am really impressed by it. I've used um, my iPhone for Magic Happens that night parade a yes, few years back. I remember which that. was, uh, it looks so good, you know, better almost as good as the regular video camera did. So I think our next stop after uh, after Pirates was here, Big Thunder, you only had a 15 minute wait. It was it, not 15 though. Was it quicker no. than 15? Oh yeah. It, it was, was pretty much a walk on, It was right? almost a walk on. So uh, it says 15, but in, in here, I, I it was shot after. That after. I shot that after. after. So it was maybe a two or three minute wait once we got through the queue but even if we wanted to go again i mean let's say it was 15 minutes the second time that's not too bad for mm -hmm. a couple big thunders no it was it was uh it was great and i know that what i think the wall street journal said that this is like a really slow time it's slow slower not, but know. it's not uh it's it's certainly not slow i mean it does right. you get hour-long lines at about noon, at least on the Saturday here at the Magic Kingdom. Well, Buzz Lightyear had like a 45-minute wait. Like certain attractions had long waits. For some reason, Big Thunder did not. But also, um, summer has not been as busy as, let's say, fall. So it will be interesting to see what our fall is looking like because you've got Halloween and it's a little cooler. Right. And the Food and Wine Festival, although we still don't see any uh, possibility, I guess, of Party for the Senses or some of those 
events coming back, mm-hmm. which is something I would like to see. Well, as they say, it's it's one of the hottest summers and years. They say that mm-hmm. in the Carousel of Progress, but this time it's true. And, and it's th- really we're, we're taking a look at uh, the old area where you would meet Merida. And I remember when Rapunzel used mm-hmm. to meet here with the Flynn Rider many years ago. We were there for the last day. We have that the on lantern, video. The lantern, when they had the lanterns <laughs> going up in the sky. Yeah. So anyway, there is a new area for... Uh, for, for, for Merida, for Merida for, but from Brave. also that will be an Encanto That's going to be Encanto. That's I wanted to mention that. Yes. That's true. So, but we came over here to to Liberty Square, uh, to the. Uh, the Liberty Square gazebo. Yes, the who, gazebo. We've met That's... Jack Skellington and Sally here. We've met Oogie Boogie. Uh-huh. We've met a range of characters. Princess we've... Tiana's been here. The Easter Bunny and mm-hmm. Mrs. Easter Bunny. But now, now it's Princess Merida. Merida. Princess Merida. I feel like she should be though in. Fantasyland still, so I think that makes more sense. Yeah, but or but, Epcot perhaps. Mm-hmm. But she was really, she was really fun. Always uh, really fun. Good. Merida is always a, a fun princess. To much, meet. much shorter wait than when we've seen her uh, meeting guests over at. Uh, the other area. And do you think that's because not many people know she's there? I mean, yes. it was early in the morning. Uh-huh. Everyone was rushing to go on rides. We knew she was in right. this uh, area. But I think we waited about five minutes for Merida, which was not I, bad. I think that's part of it. It's er- it was early and it wasn't as busy, but also... It's sort of blockaded off right. by, by bushes or trees. And this was always fun when you can sit here at the windows and look down and wave to the guests going on It's a Small World on the, on the boats down there. And we went on It's a Small World. We did. Indeed, we did. We're going to show uh, a, a clip or two of that. But I always like, you know what? It's air conditioned. I like the one at Disneyland, obviously, better because they have some fun, uh, the Disney characters, which I really like. But you can see still... there's a, there is a representative of Mary Blair in the middle of the Eiffel Tower back right, there. Right, right. So that's always a fun little uh, trivia thing to show. Yes. And uh, so anyway, we waited, I think, about five minutes, which was a surprise because we already did Big Thunder and uh, pirates. We were looking at going on mansion, but that, but that was, a, was a long wait. And what was very interesting long, it is... It said like 20 minutes. No, but it looked it looked it like looked it longer. was much longer than that. But I wanted to say, and I'm going to show this, this is the first time I have ever had my name come up mm. at the end. And it's because I have one of those new Magic Bands, mm-hmm. the uh, Magic Band Plus I was wearing. Does the old, the old one doesn't do I've it. I've never had it work with the old one. So I think maybe because the Plus Magic Band, it makes it work. So uh, as, as soon as we get around the bend, I'm going to uh, to show that. But I thought that was a nice, uh, a nice little touch. And you know, another thing while we're waiting, I wish this would be a Small World holiday. I would love during that. During Christmas mm-hmm. time. I should uh, mention. Disneyland Paris has had that too. Right, right. So here it is. Here is my uh, little tribute to, uh, it says, goodbye, Jeffrey. Yes. <laughs> I've, I've never seen that before. So I thought that was See, a nice uh, little touch. So oh, I was going to say Disneyland Paris did not have... It has not in a number of years now, but we have gotten to experience. We did see it. I think we saw it in 2019, 18 or 18. It was really, it was really a surprise because they didn't uh, mention that it would be like a kind of that holiday. And we decided to have lunch at the Columbia Harbor House. It was uh, right around when lunch opened. I think it was 1130-ish. So it was not busy. We were able to get our favorite little location here in this, in this uh, above the, the bridge. So you can look out the window and there you are in the corner holding mm-hmm. our seat and we're going to take a look out of the uh, of the bridge i didn't know you were taking any video i know i like to surprise mm. you anyway we had some uh, chicken strips and uh, fries nothing fancy and uh, and we're going to take a look out of the uh, view you say this reminds you of france i say it's more of a germany look i don't think i think it's supposed to be more european but when you look at pictures of alsace mm-hmm. it looks so much like that um, so that's some place I would like to go. Maybe this trip, but we'll see. And I believe that is the sailing ship Columbia, which they actually have a, uh, a model of that. Mm-hmm. You can ride at Disneyland. Oh, right. Right. Yes. We've, we we've have been not been on the Columbia many times. Not in a while, though. Not in a while. Not in a, a few years, at least. And, uh, and we're, I, I was just kind of showing the view from, uh, from the ground of what we were just looking at from out there of the window there and and really looking out of the window it just it's an, an amazing view it doesn't look like you're in a theme park it's really a 
um, it's really very nice. It's a great to place to kind of chill outside. out and relax. Mm -hmm. Since we just split one order of the chicken uh, strips, we decided to have dessert. The Rapunzel Sunday, a rather new dessert here at Storybook Treats. With a shortcake with Dole Whip, lemon, and wild berry soft serve, topped with berry compote and sugar flowers. And it was good. It, it was, was good. It was better than expected. It was very good. It was very hot, so we had to eat this quick. The ice cream was not hot. Yes. The outside was hot. <laughs> but it was, again, it was uh, It was quite delicious. Almost, it had the uh, essence of a strawberry shortcake. Just a me. little bit. It, it mentioned shortcake, and it didn't feel like there was a lot in there, um, but it was just enough, and I thought it was a, a nice dessert to split. Yeah, it was very refreshing. And now we're going to kind of uh, show... On our way to the Magic Kingdom in the morning, we had a look at the construction of the Polynesian Village DVC, the new tower. Right, and the new tower is scheduled to open sometime later in 2024, and we're just passing by it. Uh, we also took a boat. I'm not sure if we're showing that he as well. We will be seeing that, of course. <laughs> um, and it just, it keeps, I will say, it seems to be the fastest project on Walt Disney World property to me. Mm -hmm. Like, where it's just like, every time you see it, it's a little different. Um, we're passing by Disney's Grand Floridian. The main building there, and we're going to talk about that, is still undergoing uh, some refurbishment. refurbishment mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, here we can see the DVC Tower at Disney's Polynesian Village Resort, which did take the place of um, the Luau. The Luau, the Polynesian and, Luau. Luau and the Cove. beach area. Right. Mm -hmm. So um, it took a, away a fair bit over there. Um, but. It will be interesting to see if they eventually have a, you know, maybe another luau. Like, it would be nice if they did that. It would be very nice. I, I look forward to it reopening for another reason is I enjoy the walk. Mm -hmm. I enjoy walking, you know, on the side of the water over from from the uh, the Pali right. to the Magic Kingdom. As That's a, something you can't really do. You could still do a walk, but there's a big uh, back roundabout way. It's, yeah, a little detour, detour along the road and everything. Yeah, it's nicer by the water, I think. So here is Disney's Grand Floridian. This was uh, last, week ago, week, last week, right? Um, and this is construction that's uh, not... It's not really construction. It's it's refurbishment. Yeah. And you can see they're doing work, I think, on the balconies, but also in the rooms because they have to redo all the rooms. Um, I don't know for how long I read that it might be till August or so, but I I don't know that. Right. Um, and here you can see, like, um, so Gasparilla Grill, it's still in that little very narrow it, it's still open it just doesn't look open so they have a lot of signage for it now you can see there's like signage everywhere <laughs> for gas gas because and grill. If, if not you would never think that this whole this is open because this whole area looks closed right right it does so anyway you just walk through uh here but also this became a little bit narrower as well going into the main building on the side of like the grand uh floridian cafe and such so um, this was a, a narrow, a narrow, narrower walk in. Right. <laughs> and so here is the lobby. There's work going on on the, you know, on the rooms upstairs. Yeah, so you, you can, can see, see all the, you can see all the rooms are obviously closed. They have uh, walls up mm -hmm. around everything. So, I mean, at first glance, it doesn't look that different. But if you, you know, really uh, look at it, everything does look pretty close off up there. Right. And you can sometimes hear noise, but during, I think during this time we didn't really hear anything so I, I don't know if they were working too much um, so about maybe a third of the lobby is closed off we didn't even walk out to the front and, and walk in I haven't even done that yeah we'll have to so do that time. Uh, next time we're in that area and it'll probably be at some point this coming week or, or in the so. next week or two mm -hmm. and you can see that that section uh, with the walls and everything it's they've got construction equipment back there um, so I've heard they're not doing necessarily necessarily doing the lobby this year, which I think they were supposed to. Um, but right now they're working on the rooms. So um, we'll see. I, because it's only a few months till Christmas. And right. then you have the gingerbread house and everything. Yeah, I was thinking of that too. I mean, you don't want to jeopardize. The, it's a tradition to have the gingerbread house there. So. And, and the big, beautiful Christmas tree and everything. So now we are at Epcot. This was earlier this week. We're taking a look at the journey of water. Inspired by, by Moana. Yes. And uh, so when we walked inside, there was all sorts of uh, mist and waterfalls. Yeah. And then so relaxing looking. I will say when it's like 95 degrees out, <laughs> it really looked nice. And I would like to 
I would have liked to have been able to walk in there because I, I would have, because it would have been nice to have that, that, you know, mist especially. Yeah, it, it does look very nice. And you could see there's the water features here. We've seen this kind of thing. Uh, I think the imagination. first time. Yeah, I was going to say the imagination fountain. So I really like those, uh, the jumping water. And, it, you know, they're going to start this coming week with cast member previews. And I think those are going to last about a month. Um, so it's going to still be a while. Hopefully the, it would be nice if they could soft open this by sometime in September. It would be very nice. Um, so what, maybe for winter when it's, you don't want necessarily to be hit by water So I don't, I don't want to put you on the spot, but can you tell me, as far as you know, what this is going to entail? What the attraction will be? Well, it's going to be like a walkthrough mm -hmm. where you interact with water. So we'll see. I mean, they have... So there's no details have not been released. Just a little, little bit. A little bit. But I mean, I think we're going to get more information as we're getting closer to... Especially with the cast members uh, who are going to be in, in less than a week are going to be going through there. So we're going to hear a lot more about that. And you can talk about some of this other construction that's going on around Epcot. Then we're going to take a very quick look from uh, the monorail down right. at all this. Well, this is Communicore Hall. And you're going to have... It's going to be like the festival area. Mm -hmm. And also uh, you're going to have like Mickey and Friends meet and greets. And uh, I don't know. A much we'll needed see. air yeah. conditioned area, kind of like the original Communicore. Well, it's, I think it's more like the world, the Wonders of Life uh, Pavilion used to have fest the festival center. Right, where you would do seminars and things right. of that nature. Right, and I think there's going to be like a demonstration kitchen. And so I, I'm hoping that we're going to see more festival events after now and you just saw on the left hand side they removed the flower quilt but at least when we were here at epcot this was a few days ago the right hand side quilt was still up and i think the colors look like fall instead of summer mm -hmm. so i always found that interesting um in that third flower planting also over here communi okay there's going to be a fountain over there and it's going to be it's going to look like the five rings of epcot mm-hmm and then here is uh, Communicore Plaza, which is going to have like concerts and such. So um, it's supposed to be open this year. Everything's supposed to be open this year. I mean, it really does look nice. When I think when it opens, it'll be hopefully it'll be worth worth this long wait. It's going to be like a five year wait, I think. So it's a, <laughs> it's a while. So let's take a look at the uh, Journey of Water. Inspired by Moana. <laughs> from, above, from above, you could see plenty of wide uh, walking space there. I mean, it's pretty much done. So um, it'll be interesting. It'll be fun to hear what cast members have to say about it. And you can see we're coming up on, you see the mist and the waterfall uh, area. And I think that looks, again, when it's, when it's as hot as it is out. And I know everybody's talking about the heat, but it's really hot like it, it sort of reminds me of disney's polynesian village in a way you know mm -hmm. like all of a sudden you're at epcot now you're you have a little uh, oasis of right. polynesian goodness yeah i mean i'm looking forward to it so uh we're walking around it's epcot international food and wine festival you know it's going to start next week uh next thursday and you can see you've got the belgian booth we saw the hawaii booth and um, the menus are out. I'm looking forward to the India booth because oh, I yes. love it's samosas. Always a favorite. Always a favorite. And we were invited to uh, Gelateria Toscana to taste some new limoncello floats. Which limoncello, they, yummy. Yes, uh, they just started them this past week. Uh, and here and is, I should mention this is at the Ep or the uh, oh, Italy, the Italy pavilion. pavilion, right? It's been here for about two years now. Um, so the first one is the. Uh, Amalfi with limoncello liquor, uh, liqueur over limoncello gelato and fresh raspberry, which is the little raspberry pieces reminding me a little bit of candy canes. Yes, just the way yes. that they tasted, but also kind of their, uh, you know, their consistency. They were delicious. They, I mean, the, the gelato is always wonderful. So, mm -hmm. but especially when you douse that with some high potent limoncello. <laughs> no, it was on a hot day. It was really yeah, it good. Was nice. But the, I mean, we're, now we're going to take a look at the uh, pistachio version. I even like this one better. I didn't expect to, but it was fantastic. And I preferred the first, but you like the limoncello. Yes. What, what is really, uh, what I really like about these is that they mix so well. A lot of times when you get a drink with alcohol, it doesn't really combine well. And that's one of the things I really like. Now, I wish they were a little bit bigger. They're $19 uh, dollars each. I think it would be nice if they were a little bit bigger portion. And as we were wrapping up at the Gelateria, look who arrived. It's Pinocchio. 
Yeah, and I thought it was just Pinocchio. And I want, I turned around to look for you because I was like, oh, I was like, hi, Pinocchio. <laughs> and then there was like 10 characters out. And he's in a great, lo- a perfect location, the uh, Italy Pavilion. But th- now we have Big Al. And I guess Big Al, it makes sense because he is in front of the American Adventure. Mm. I, But I don't think... You know, everybody's kind of in front everybody of the Everybody is not going to make sense, no. <laughs> so uh, we have Stitch. And there were really, I just mentioned, like 10 characters. And it was just a surprise because it was like, oh, look, Pinocchio. And then as you kept walking, it's just like character, 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 and, character. And I, and I just have to say, the characters had so much energy and it must have been a feel real of 105 at least. I mean, it was very, very We have hot. mentioned, yeah, we've mentioned the heat a lot. <laughs> and you have Gideon. I love seeing Gideon. Now, Gideon is a perfect fit with uh, Pinocchio. So mm-hmm. he should uh, take a stroll down there towards Italy and uh, meet up with his old friend or nemesis. Uh, and, and Miko is behind Miko, him yes. too. So uh, we have not seen Miko in quite some time. Miko used to... Uh, and as we're looking at Gideon, Gideon really hasn't been a character who's normally out meeting. I don't remember the last time where Gideon was an actual normal meet and greet. No, he he's only appears during these little surprise meets, you know, kind of like here's Miko. Miko has some flowers and he is going to find a pretty lady to give the flowers to, which I thought is very nice. That way... <laughs> I'm like, oh, okay. look at this. <laughs> How nice. A nice set of flowers from that Miko. That was nice. And uh, so anyway, Miko did used to meet at Disney's Animal Kingdom years ago. Yes, Camp Minnie right. Mickey. So quite I some remember. time ago. And uh, pre-Avatar. Wendell was also here. So we had two country bears. Um, well, he's, and... he's looking for uh, if any of the guests can help him again to play. He's starting up a band here. You Just know? like at the Wilderness Lodge. Very he was... similar. Very similar. Yeah. He's I, still looking. I, I, I offered my skills, but obviously that was not enough for Wendell. I had not ever seen him ask about that prior to Disney's Wilderness Lodge. So now we've seen him asking about that twice. And this was perfect. A, a penguin. penguin. No, no Mary Poppins, no Bert, but we had one, one of the penguins, which another uh, character we don't really see here too often. Well, if you had wanted to see Mary Poppins, I'm sure that we could have done that because she meets every day oh, over yeah. at the United Kingdom. But, Mary, but not here with the penguin. <laughs> that's true. That's very true. So, and some more with uh, Big Al in and, front of America. And I know we had at least a couple more characters uh, out and about. And, you know, Big Al was also talking about the band, by the way. Oh. You mentioned that. So he was telling me about uh, how he likes to play guitar. I think by now I was probably getting ready for lunch. You were absolutely getting ready for <laughs> I lunch. I was inside. I didn't spend the whole time outside. But, uh, you know, it was just too much fun for me to see these roaming characters. I mean, usually they're off in an alley. So it was kind of fun this way to see them really out and about just wandering, you know, great distances. And somebody asked me if it was because there weren't so many uh, guests there that they brought them out, you know, out to guess you know and it could be part of it i've seen them also when they have the surprise characters over at um by the uk between the uk mm-hmm. and canada in right that and, area there. About. and they are now out and about when when they were there as well but so. i think if it was packed like sometimes during the food and wine festival you would not necessarily see them out here but i prefer it to walking into the smaller uh the smaller little side street right i i would uh, i would agree with that they, this was fun so anyway, that is another show. We want to thank our sponsor, MEI Travel and Mouse Fan Travel. Thank you to MEI and Mouse Fan Travel. I mentioned Becky's on an Adventures by Disney uh, Wyoming trip right now. And so if you have any questions about Adventures by Disney, that is something that they do. She's on a, re- you know, she does research trips uh, for Adventures by Disney, for Disney Cruise Line, for, for really for almost every everything. Uh, so check them out. You can fill out a no obligation quote. And uh, let's see, what do we have coming up? It, oh, you know what's coming up? I can't believe I'm about to say this. Halloween. No, no well, th- that too. But what's really coming up this week is the kickoff of the Epcot International, International. Food and Wine yes. Festival. I cannot believe it's already time for food and wine. Well, it used to be that it would start in like, I think it September. Was, yeah, right. Like September to November, where now, um, I think it might be a little later than last year, but it's still, you know, July. Right into november it's a long it's a long time but i mentioned i like the samosas so i'm happy i can just stop 
and get a samosa anytime I want in Epcot. <laughs> yes, that'll be uh, that'll be very nice. And mm -hmm. also this week uh, in the movies, it's Barbie and Oppenheimer, two movies we plan to see this week. And I just mm -hmm. posted a uh, an old video I found of uh, the Barbie show that used to play at Epcot right. back in 1994. And Haunted Mansion. That's right. Haunted Mansion's coming out soon, too. That'll we almost good. did a Barbie Mansion, but now we're kind of doing Barbie separately. Yes. I think we're going to do them all separately. But yeah, check out the Barbie uh, the Barbie show, which I've only seen a little bit of it. I did not see it in person. Uh, it's really interesting. You say that with... Uh, <laughs> I wish the, the listeners could see the face you but, make when you say interesting. I don't know what to make of that. But so many people who um, I've talked to who were who are younger than me, who did see it. You know, it was a show that they loved. Right. Um, it, it was short-lived, The Magical World of Barbie. And, and the reason that the America Gardens Theater is enclosed is because of that show. I remember going there, and that whole area was open. You'd sit mm -hmm. in full sun. You'd have a little bit of trees in, in the seating area. But uh, it's much nicer now with the enclosed stage. Mm -hmm. And Ken is played by Billy Flanagan, who... Uh, was in Tarzan Rocks and a lot of other shows. I think he was in Hoop Dee Doo. I most, at times. most think of him from the the one time that we were involved in the uh, Christmas mm. the Christmas Day pageant, the parade parade. But we taping. had to do a little uh, dance number mm. that we rehearsed many times. Well, I think of him more. Yes, I remember that. <laughs> I, I think of him most from from Tarzan Rocks. Yeah, oh, that's true. So thanks again for listening. Have a great week, and we'll see you all next week. Have a great week.